happy to have another new drug in this toolbox that we can use to treat patients. And what's exciting about this com compared to a lot of other new drugs is that it's a new category of drugs. So uh, we have hope, and there's always room for hope here, that it's actually going to help patients for whom some of the traditional categories of drugs weren't that helpful. In this study, there were differences in North America and non-North American patients. And the non-North American patients, it, it seemed to be not statistically significant. Uh, can you comment on that a little bit? North America had great results. Okay, why? Well, uh, the thought that came to my mind was about the diagnosis of epilepsy that we had in our country, U.S., prior to about 30 years ago. Uh, at that time, we had less clinical tools to evaluate who really had epilepsy and who had other kinds of medical problems or psychological problems that were being misdiagnosed as epilepsy. In fact, around the country, in epilepsy specialty clinics, we eventually found out that about 30% of the patients we were treating didn't have epilepsy. We only found that out when we got new tools like video EEG monitoring. Now that's not available in so many places in Latin America. So the lack of correct diagnoses may have confounded the Latin American part of this population. There's other possibilities too. For example, uh, you have to teach a patient what's a seizure and what's not a seizure. So when they keep seizure logs, they know what do you count, what don't you count. And it may be that the teaching of people in the Latin American group was not as effective and they may have counted events that were not really seizures in their baseline of seizure control. So last question, if this drug is approved relatively soon, will you start using it in your practice? Yeah, I'll be using it the next day. Uh, this would be, it, it, until we have enough people out there using it and we collect phase three data to really see what it does in a large number of patients, we're going to be somewhat uncertain of whom to use it in. So we're all going to be trying it out, especially on those patients where we're currently frustrated that we've tried what we can and they're still having a lot of seizures, real seizures. So this is the next drug on the list.